Let's go over the copper peptide. This peptide is incredible for collagen, skin elasticity, nails, hair, um, and tissue repair. So this is also good to take in combination with BPC-157 and TB-500 if you are um, recovering from an injury or a surgery. Um, you can go back and watch those videos and what that all entails. But for this one, people usually will take it to see improvement in their skin, their hair, and their nails, and it works very well. Um, keep in mind this one, will come and once it's reconstituted it is going to be blue that's normal it's going to sting a little bit more than other peptides when it's injected because it is a metal um and we don't want too much metal building up in our bodies of course right so um this is good to take with a zinc supplement or make sure you're eating foods very high in zinc while you're taking this because that's going to help the metal not build up in your body and be able to be flushed out and processed through um, you will see really glow like really a lot of improvement in the health of your skin and your nails will grow really fast and your hair will get thicker and that will help with regrowth too if that's something that you're um you know trying to improve um you <clears throat> will you'll take this one for about for six weeks i would say you'll you won't notice anything until you get to that six week mark and you'll be like, okay, I'm starting to notice it. But I would recommend taking it for like two to three months. Um, and then you can cycle off and cycle back on. Again, always cycling our peptides. So for the dosing of this peptide, we are going to go to a peptide calculator online and just plug in our dosing, especially if yours is going to be a little bit different than mine. But the gold dose of this is 1.5 to 2 milligrams a day or, you know, two months <laughs> so this is one that you will take daily you can skip a day here and there like some people will do it just during the week and then take the weekend off and then take it during the week um just because it is a lot to remember and a lot of injections um but you are going to be taking it consistently daily 1.5 to 2 milligrams a day and then you're probably going to get or i would i get this one it's a hundred milligram vial and this is going to last you about a good two months um once it's reconstituted so you're gonna of course take your bacteriostatic water and your reconstitute uh, your needle to reconstitute um for this one we are going to be pulling up three mls um and then reconstituting that into our vial um, reconstituted you just gently mix it you're not like shaking it really hard and fast because again the peptides are delicate you need to then replace place this in a dark um, space in a refrigerator it needs to stay refrigerated in a dark space I'll I'll put this up here too for you to visualize so I have a 50 unit insulin needle syringe you can of course just adjust this um on peptide calc or wherever you're um using your peptide calculator um but if you do the 50 unit syringe you're just pulling up to the five for that 1.5 um milligram dose and then you can pull up to the two um i i would do it more slowly as you're titrating yourself up um, you could just do something like 0.5 milligrams, 1 milligram, 1.25 milligrams, 1.5 milligrams, then 2 milligrams, and just see how you feel and how you're doing. Um, but yeah, pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Let me know how you feel and your results from this. Again, remember to wait about six weeks, stay consistent with it, um, and look out for improvements on your skin, your hair, your nails. Let me know if you have any questions. Hope you enjoy this video.